So recently, a father of one of our baseball workouts uh, came up to me and asked me, so how do you think my son's hips look? Is he getting out too soon? And then he asked, well, how about his shoulders? Is, is he flying open? Or, you know, is he, is he staying closed long enough? I stopped to pause for my answer. I looked at him and I said, I said this. I said, you're looking at your son's hitting through the lenses of mechanics. I look at your son's hitting through the lenses of timing. I still believe the elements of, of mechanics are important. They're just not as important as the elements of timing. When we really get inside the hitting laboratory and examine the hitter's swing and we look at hitting through the lenses of timing and the lenses of mechanics, you'll begin to see that mechanics plays a second role in hitting and timing is number one. We hear this phrase frequently in spring training. Hitters only need 20 to 25 at bats to get their timing down. When a hitter is going to do a rehab assignment in the minor leagues, what do we always hear? Well, he needs to get his timing down. How ironic. But as coaches in our, our baseballs and softball communities, what is our go-to button? It's our mechanics. Today in our culture, baseball and softball, if a coach is going to address the elements of timing, we usually hear some very basic, generic phrases like, get your foot down. When the pitcher loads back, you load back. Watch the ball come out of his hand. For me, these are just very bland, basic, generic phrases. And for, for most hitters, how do you formulate what they mean? During the past several years, I've been blessed to just to, to dive into hitting from the perspective of timing. I knew as a player, it was the most important element for me as a hitter. I just, I could feel it, but it was hard to put into words. So I've been examining timing diligently and thoroughly the last several, several years. And we come up with a lot of important elements. And it's deep inside the crevices of timing that you see these very small, minute elements that they seem so insignificant to the coaches and players but these small tiny elements of timing your vision and timing your adrenaline and timing your striking position and timing when you do jump the gun are huge factors to the hitters timing and, and becoming um, assimilated to the pitchers delivery with the season um, going on, another factor that is vitally important is tempo. There's a, a hitter's tempo, which is sometimes just looked at either slow or fast, and that has to have assimilation with the, the pitcher's tempo. And then, you know, the pitcher's tempo is sometimes slow or fast, or sometimes he delays himself with, with his delivery. All these are important factors when we're weighing out and helping our hitters to perform better in the games. If you are a player, if you're a coach, if you're a parent, and you take this game extremely serious, baseball or softball, I have a video series that digs into the deep elements of timing. The, the pitcher's common denominator. That's where it really goes back to for, for, for baseball and softball. When you know the pitcher's common denominator and you know your hitting model and you put everything together, then you're not standing at home plate anymore with your head in the cloud and just feeling yourself through the event. The video series, World's Greatest Hitting Formula, 
has everything in it the hitter needs for baseball or softball to understand what is the pitcher's common denominator. It is not the release point of a pitcher. It's too late. And to understand the hitter's hitting models and understand the hitter's tempo. Is he a fast moving hitter or if he's a slow build up guy? These are the factors we need to take into account. And also with this the big package is the best hitting drill ever. As I told you before, I, I know mechanics are still important, we need to be efficient, but how do we go about in our what is our approach to helping the hitters to become more efficient? Well, I found that it, it, it's inside of a right brain hemisphere training. You know, how you decelerate in your swing ultimately affects how you accelerate. And during the acceleration phase of the swing, you don't want to be clouded down. Where's my knee? Where's my ankle? Where's my toe? Where's my hip? Where's my shoulder? My wrist? It's too much thinking about. You know, when the start of the process is happening, I need to, the, the hitter needs to concentrate on on fitting in with the pitcher's delivery. And then the best hitting drill ever concentrates on the end of the swing to fix mechanics. It's flat out awesome.